Hey everybody, welcome back. We had our fun in the last episode. We went 3-1 in 3-minute chess. Of course, in my brain, I'm like, we should have gone freaking 4-0, dude. We should have gone 4-0. Um, but 3 minutes is just, I mean, it's a bit of a cluster, right? All right, we're playing against Rezaia, rated 1582. They want to move super fast. I'm not all about that life anymore. We're going to take our time to consider our moves a little bit. If they want to move insanely fast, so be it. We're going to respond to knight to f6 with knight to c3. They're going to get ready to fianchetto the bishop. Respectable play. Do we have a plan? Do we, do we like this, for example? We hate it. We don't like it at all. Um, we could always... Like, if they're planning on a... On a Kingside Castle, we could always hit him with a uh, an F4 and then try to push that way and maybe we'll Queenside Castle. But you could also just develop your knight. Kind of a, a standard play there. One may argue we're taking more time than is necessary. Um, this seems like the kind of gamer who does not want to get involved too early. We have to be concerned about something like this. No, we don't. They will do knight to c6 next, which means I wouldn't say we have a free move. But we can at least do that, knowing that that's probably coming. Um, so, I kind of like this. Donka, 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 donka. I don't know. It's it's a little hot. Let me Let me work it out, okay? If they want to trade, I do not want to trade. Um, I'd like to keep. I'd like to keep my bishop if possible. But if I go here and they go here, we take. They take with the pawn. We take. They take. We take. They take. So they have a lot of pressure here. We would not be able to push in that case. So I actually think I'm just going to fall back to to d2. I think the analysis is going to be like, what's wrong with you? And I support that. If they want to push now, we'll just close off the center. If they don't want to push, we'll probably try. So Ooh, now that is an interesting, it's, a, it's an interesting play. I think I like the push. Um, of course, it does open up this spicy diagonal. So we may want to do this at some point. Um, we definitely like the trade here. They will not trade with the pawn. They will trade with the, with the bishop. Um, and then, to be honest with you, I got to be straight up with you. I think I like putting them on the back foot. Now, the center, I know I've said it's like closed up. It's not that closed up. <laughs> Maybe not as closed up as I would like. Uh, so we have to think about where we'd like to go next. Now, the knight that, that they have here is just totally screwed. I definitely don't think we push. The castle, I think, is really bad. Because it gives them, like, a super powerful spot for the bishop right there. Um, I think we want to get ready to queenside castle. I don't know where we would like to place our queen. I'm not worried about time just yet. Like, you know, I don't, I don't think it's going to come to that. If it does, it does. But I don't think it's going to come to that right now. I think I like this move um, to put some extra pressure on this. Now, like, we could, in theory, push, but I don't really like it. Um, so this is an en passant chance. I'm not very good at visualizing the en passant, but I am, I'm thinking it through, right? What if I... Well, hold on. What if I just did this? You take. That leaves you, like, very exposed. I take. You take. I don't think I mind the, the, the push here. I think this is a good push for us that would leave their their bishop pinned to their king. And we could really start to push these pawns down on them. Um, we could have en passant as well, but who, who wants to wreck their queen side, you know? I want to wreck their king side. Now, there are a couple of cheeky plays, right? Like, now that they've closed in their own bishop... Um, we can castle kingside, I think. I, I had a feeling this was coming, by the way. Um, and I, I think we do just push that. And I, I don't really mind. Because I think we, 
kind of anticipated doing that at some point anyway. Now we probably would not castle kingside, but it is kind of a shorthand because you get your king maybe slightly more protected. This bishop's not going anywhere. Um, and you do also uh, have the uh, the rook right here to get ready for this, but um, I feel like we, we castle queenside instead. I, you're not going to see me do it too much. I think this is this is the way that we do it, though. All right. Now, this, maybe a little hasty, but I like closing this up. And then in the future, like, we love this move. And they're probably... I, do, I think we totally swap here. If they want to do that, then do that. Um, because we actually... It's not really like... It's not a mate, but we can kind of take here. Well, we'd have to go here first so that their queen didn't just take, but... Well, I guess their queen could take no matter what. <laughs> um, and still could, for the record. So, what was my plan? Well, I'm like, if we go here... Um, it looks like... Take... Like, if, if they take with the pawn, they get into a pretty rough spot. I do think they're probably going to move the knight here next. So do I get value out of moving our knight here? I don't really think so. I think what we want to do, and it's a, it's a bit cumbersome. I think what we want to do is move our knight to here to put pressure on that move. I do worry about the the queen side push. But this is this is all in service of actually structuring an attack for us. The the king side unfortunately is locked up, which means they can start pushing their queen side pawns. Uh but we, we have the opportunity to bust it open a little bit. Like, I, I don't really care about uh, this move. I didn't really care about, like, knight to, knight to here, which is where it could have gone on the last turn. Sure, like, we put some pressure on this via that avenue right there. But I think they want to do this anyway. Yeah, which puts... They, it allows their queen to protect it. So our knight's just hanging here for no reason. Um, and now I have realized that we have uh, to protect the this pawn. I think I like this space. Yes. I think I like this space. Um, why? Because it keeps this threat of the doubled uh, power that we've got here. And now, actually, I'm like, Donka! <laughs> Donka! Donka! There's a little Donk power there. But we could... I, I think I like this line. It's pot we give up material to make this line happen, but I do think I like this. So how does it work? I take, they probably take. Check, dunk, check, dunk, take, take, take. I don't know. It maybe it's not quite there yet. Maybe it's not quite there yet. Would we prefer maybe... I don't know, man. Because it's like... I just have to... I'd have to visualize, okay? Take, take. Check. They are forced to do this. Check. The knight's still here. They probably fall back, which I think is the right move. Then, actually, now that I think about it, I'm like, what if we just did rook to there? They have to do something to protect. And then maybe... So, okay, here's the thing. I think we wait to spring the trap for one more move. So that our knight is a little bit closer to making this happen. And if this goes wrong, it goes wrong. But it'll be fun. And, and that's what it's all about, right? So let's... Let's start right here. Now I'm really... <laughs> Dude, I'm actually dumb. They just take me if I go here. What are you, what are you thinking? Either way, it, I mean, it's interesting. Let's put it that way. There's there's some interesting uh, mechanics involved here. It's still a gambit. Like, we, we've lost some material, but we've really opened up this file. I still think, like, I think it's bad. But I don't think it's as bad, maybe, as you might have uh, originally expected. Let me put it that way. Like, whose position would I rather be in? This is one you really got to think of. 
Because, like, I feel like we should definitely not take the knight. Because then the queen can get involved. I feel like you take the bishop. King takes. Check. And then we see where the game goes from there. Might look something like king takes. So you, you're you probably thinking to yourself, self, take. But then I'm a little concerned about this. Maybe we'd be better off. I mean, we're in check. We have to respond. Maybe we'd be better off, for example, just moving one. No, because I think if we move one, take, it, it'll seem weird, but we're going to do like check. <laughs> and then, I, you know what? I'm, I'm actually very concerned about the opportunities here that they have at their disposal. I think we do that. Now, the computer might be very concerned about this. I don't want to give them the free check. But I am like, okay, if they take... I t okay, so we knew this was coming. Now we can start to play video games, right? Um, so we'll do check and see where they go. That's another check for us. Probably they're going to... I mean, they have to go there. Is this actually good for us? I think there's a case that the answer is no. So, like, check, take... It's not great. <clears throat> they would be forced to take. That's the only advantage that we have. They're if I go here, they're forced to take here. We would take. They would have some replies. I know we lose a, a, a rook in the in the issue, but... I mean, <laughs> times are kind of tough. I'm more like, okay, what if we do this? Take. Maybe we start here. And then we can put them in check. Because they can't move the knight. The knight's pinned. Obviously, yes, I am concerned about time. You would not be incorrect. No matter how this game went down, I think that at least I can take some solace in the fact that I did it on my terms, except for not seeing that the uh, knight would just capture the check we were aiming for. Um, so we're going to start here because we want to double up some power here. We need to keep the threat escalating. Like there's no there's no way out of this plan for us that doesn't involve one of us dying. Let's put it that way. I'm still like if I'm the black pieces. I'm like why don't you just do this? You're threatening made in one. I have to reply. And then like... Okay. Um, I still... I mean, I could take. But I don't want to. <laughs> like, I think we, we need to keep the escalation up. So now here's what I'm thinking, right? So it goes like this. You take. They take. The rook is now pinned to the king. Take. Take. Check. What What do they do? No matter what they do, we're going to get the rook out of it. But if they, obviously, if they moved like here, we probably take the pawn for another check. We're just like, we're doubling down. Like, uh, this is like, um, there's a betting strategy, which means that it's just a strategy that inevitably leads to you losing mathematically. Um, there's a betting strategy called the Martingale. And the way that it works is you walk up to the roulette table, which is more or less a 50-50 bet. It's like 49-49-2. Um, and you go with 20 bucks, right? And you go 20 bucks on red. If you lose, you go 40 bucks on red. If you lose, 80 bucks on red. If you lose, 160 bucks on red. All you got to do is win once, and you win back your original stake. 
there's two problems with it. One is that most tables have um, a maximum bet. So if you lost, as unlikely as it is, if you lost five times in a row, you just can't uh, lose anymore. Um, this is a great move, by the way. Um, like it was literally what we suggested would be a good move. So I'm just, I'm, I'm running it through. What if we did check, take, take? I, I think we probably lost. We have to put them in check because we, we, need, we need either a check or we need a way to deal with this. This is checkmate. We can't do this anymore. Um, even if we had taken the pawn, eh, actually, if we had taken the pawn, we probably would have been fine. The only thing I can think of is possibly you could do this. Um, and then it goes like, I mean, I know we're low on time. This. Dunka, this Dunka is not checkmate. It sucks, but it's not checkmate. <laughs> they will have two queens. Uh, actually, now that I look at it, I'm like, I think it is checkmate because we're checked here as well. Anyway, it was a fun game. Like, I, I got no disrespect for that one. I think we had a good time. Um, the profile photo made me a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not making a value judgment. I just, I didn't, the way you looked into my soul when you beat me uh, raised a lot of questions. So they actually liked us by six points right here. That's kind of like, I mean, if we go back to the analysis, because this, this is a fun game. It's very book. Very book so far. Still, they, they really want to prevent the move that they ended up doing, which makes a lot of sense. How do they look in the analysis here? We had a 36% analysis. Not so good. They like this. They still think we're better. They don't mind it. They don't love it. They want the kingside castle earlier. They actually thought f5 was best, which I'm happy I spotted. They do not like that. They love that. Okay, so they really like our position, but they kind of hate the kingside castle. I agree. I did not like g5 as a move. They thought that move was fine. Inevitably, we're going to push these. And, okay, they still like us by a rook. And what's funny is we're equal on materials. So this is just exclusively a positional difference. They do not like this move. And this is where maybe my plan started to unravel a little bit. We did several kind of bad moves in a row, and now black has an advantage. They don't even like that, for the record. And this is where the game got very strange. <laughs> they like, they love this. Oh, they, they wanted the rook. Okay, so let's walk through, because this is where the game got exciting. Let's walk through if this had happened. That's a check. You're probably going to take. At which point I'm going to take. At which point you're going to do that. No. Why not? Oh, because maybe... this. I think this is like a computer play. But if I did this, like, w would I have seen this? If you did that, I would probably do that. You have a couple of moves. Like, what's wrong with this? I don't know. What, how, do, how do we punish this? Like that? No, they hate it. <laughs> and then this, okay, which you go like that, probably. No, it's a blunder. They want you to give up the queen instead, which I take. You take? Yeah, but like... It doesn't seem like you're good. Made in 12? Like, how how big brain do you have to be to see this? Right? Like, <laughs> F1 is a missed win? What the heck's going on? Okay, anyway, boy, walk, me, walk me back to where the attack started. All right, so they really think we should have done that rook move there. Instead, we did this, and they're like, what are you doing? That's a 12-point miss. Then they're like, okay, that's another four points. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And then the game's over. At this point... They, they needed us to... Okay, what happens if we take the pawn? It's not mate, now that I think about it. So let's say they have done the best move. We would have done this. No, that would have been checkmate. We would have done this. They would have taken. They wouldn't have taken. So let's, let's work it out. You would do this. I would do that. They still like uh, Black's moves here. Ah, okay. I see the problem here. Um, to which then, 
I think we would have done like, no, they hate it. <laughs> well, I mean, at this point, you're like, you're trying to work yourself out a mate, right? Like, it's hard. Anyway, where it all went wrong was in this attack, but the attack also made it kind of zany, which is fun. But um, it was a, it was a fun game. I actually, I, like, as far as a loss goes, I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of fun gameplay going on there. Um, the luck of the Flavians. Okay, sure, why not? Why not? Whoa, the ready opening. I was not, <laughs> shall we say, uh, ready for that. Now, I don't know if this is like how this is even played, for the record. Um, seems to indicate to me a gamer who has a, uh, a high propensity for a closed game. We have transposed uh, clearly. But it's weird because like, I don't know, you have like no center control. I'm not saying it's necessarily bad. It's just uh, how bizarre, you know? Like, ooh, baby, you're making me crazy. Every time I look around, every time I look around, every time I look, uh, every time I look around, you know what I'm talking about? It's like that. It's like, it's uh, how bizarre. Um, so what's going on here? We're, like, they have some pressure here, which is spooky, I suppose. We don't really want to trade. Um, we don't really want to trade bishops. We also don't really want to push this and give them... I don't know, maybe we... We would like it if they moved there, I guess. Um, maybe? I don't know. We get we get a very powerful square. They will not move the... Well, they'll probably... They have to move their knight. But where are they going to move it, right? Here? Doesn't seem that good. What are they going to do with it in the future? We could always back up our bishop and suffer the loss of tempo um, in exchange for the like clarified center position, but I think I'm just saying words that sound smart but don't actually lead to smart events. That's my take on the subject. Yeah, because like, I had a feeling something like this was going down. Now, I actually feel like I don't want to uh, capture. I don't want to trade. Because were I to trade, um, they get to develop their knight better. I don't want that. I'd be content to let them bust open their uh, their king side here or their queen side, I should say. Uh, and again, they're kind of they're still stuck, right? Like they can't really capture, I think. So their knight is still trapped in a horrible situation. And we start to look at where we have some leverage, maybe this pawn, not very strong. This file. Kind of dangerous for us that it's open. I'm just I'm just playing through some stuff in my head right now. Um, I I prefer our position. I do. So I don't really want to trade um, a bishop for a knight. There is one caveat to that. This pawn is like really bad. Like that pawn from the. Like, their doubled pawn situation here is terrible. Um, so it, it kind of interests me in doing so. Because then, like, here's the way I play it out, right? Like, we take, they take, we do maybe queen to d6. They can't do that because we would get a pawn in the exchange. Um, but the, the other thing is you have to examine the alternatives. But hold on. Maybe they, like, move it up. I don't know. Then we could actually... Nah, I don't like that very much at all now that I think about it. We, like, just lose that. Um, but the alternative is, like, we really want to stop their knight from getting to here or here. Um, and we can't really do that. So I think... Like, this is a bad move. This is a bad move. I do wonder... They do this. I take... They will take. I take this pawn. They do rook here. Now we have a problem. How are we going to defend this pawn? What we might consider instead is here, take... I take their bishop. Uh, they take my knight. And then instead of opening up this file, we do something a little nifty, right? Like maybe we do b6, for example. Okay, this is not how that went down. 
Instead, uh, they have obviously put some pressure on this right away. And I actually, it, it's a tough one because like you're, you might be saying like, oh, B6 is like, that's your move, dude. Um, we don't like this because they just take. But, or do we? Because you can walk it through like they take, they go here. What do we do following that? We could go here, they could not go here, they could go here. It's not great, right? I think instead of b6, though, which make, creates a very powerful pin here, I think we get two birds stoned at once, and we do rook to b8. Um, and then I, I love the trade still. I absolutely love the trade. Uh, following which, I do notice that this pawn is quite vulnerable, especially that we can't do that anymore. But we can create a situation where they have to respond. And I'm not, I'm not so worried about taking this. This doesn't really concern me too much. Um, so yeah, we knew that this was a, a possibility here. So how, how would you defend this pawn? I would probably do this. Then if they take, I take. Then, I was just going to say, we can get away with a, with a C5 push. Um, and if they take, we take. We could also get away first with a B6 into a C5. So if they were to take... Now here, I'm like, I don't care. You take, I take. You got a problem. It does create some vulnerability, but it reinforces this. I, su I support this. I don't think they're going to take. I think they're probably going to try to skirt around the issue. It's an interesting game. Dude, I, I'm so happy to be playing a 10-minute game now. Now, there, there is a flip side here. I love getting our knight into this position now. I'd love to see how this, this moves from here. I feel like we're getting a lot more out of this. <laughs> Than we did out of those like three minute games, you know what I mean? I mean it's fun to to play some like lower investment chess as well, but uh, I feel like I'm I have the opportunity to be a little bit more instructive in what little I understand the world of chess. And it's also like when you talk things out in ten minutes, you like remember what you were doing, so you get a chance to like when you go through the analysis afterwards, you're like, oh. Now I, because when I thought I could do this, I didn't realize you could just do that. Anyway, so here's what, something I enjoy. Okay, all right. Let's say they do take, and then they're going to move their queen, maybe to here, for example. Um, well, if they move their queen, never mind. Okay, interesting. Um, I still like. I think you're trying to get here, which is a good place for you to be. But I would trade, probably, because I do worry about... In a closed game, the knights are pretty strong. This diagonal is pretty strong, don't get me wrong. I suppose we could try to force the issue. Like, the thing is, I kind of want to get my knight up here anyway. Would I be content to let their knight get here in exchange? No. Mm, well, here's the thing. If their knight goes here, we can just do that for now. We'd obviously have to move our queen first, but... Um, we certainly, like... You could take, but I don't really like it. Um, you could you could play this. And what's the plan there? If we don't get taken, which is possible, um, then you would consider. Hold on, let me like if we go here, they don't take. Let's say they do this. Then we got to move our queen, which we don't really like. I would prefer not to. Maybe we just leave that open. Like, maybe we leave that space open so our bishop can actually take. And we start to think about doing something a little bit more productive. What does productivity look like to us right now? It looks like moving our knight to here so we can get it there. Um, but I, I do think about the idea of what about this move, right? What does this leave? Well, let's start with the standards. If they move their knight, we probably take it because I'm scared of it and I, I don't like my bishop that much. Um, we take, take, take. They cannot take again. Does leave this pawn kind of orphaned. I think it does leave us up a pawn. They take, we take, we like it. We're matched here. We get the discovered attack for tempo. Um, let's say we, we do this. They take, we take. 
they take we take still matched here more or less still get the discovered attack let's walk through the more obvious line then i play a5 the computer gives me two red question marks probably they do this i take they probably at that point would take with the rook having taken with the rook i cannot take 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 yeah i can't do the same play and get material out of it but on the other hand imagine this piece does not exist i could do this let's say they don't take this piece does not exist either they don't take let's say they do something irrelevant like maybe they stack their rooks then i go here and we got a great fork opportunity okay so i think i think we've we've thought our way through this and if we end up losing as a result maybe we thought our way uh, into a bad situation then that's okay so let's go over again what's what are the lines if they take in any combination here i think i'm very happy I, I think that's what we're proposing to them. If they take us up on the suggestion, I could be wrong. You always, it's possible to miss stuff, but I would be happy, I think. They push the line. Okay, now this uh, was unexpected. <laughs> For all the things we came up with as an opportunity, um, that, was, that was not one that we thought uh, could happen. Hmm. And now, like, I'm on the back burner again because I, I still really don't want to do this. I want to leave the knight open. Uh, I want to leave the bishop open as an opportunity to take the knight. So we got to develop some pressure somewhere. I think the best way to do it is to go here. And remember, we got to move kind of quickly. Um, we're going to go here to put some pressure on this pawn. It's time to get them responding to us. On like a, um, we have two goals really on like a micro level. Okay, so like one goal is to get our knight into the game. There's some great positions for it. Like here is very good. It's two moves away. Here is very good if that pawn moves up. Like maybe, I mean, this is relying on your opponent to make a horrible move, but that would be nice. Um, so we knew this was coming. And the, the other one was get their knight off the board, which we actually considered. Like I, I would honestly consider that an enormous positive. Um, and then unless I'm missing something... I love this right here. It's going to be so hard to get that knight out of here, and it's going to control so much space. And, of course, we're threatening the fork there where we have our queen backing it up. But, I mean, I do expect maybe that to happen. If that happens, I would probably still consider myself to have the advantageous position, but I might also consider it to be like a draw. <laughs> I don't know why. Hold on. No, we, we can't get there. So let's let's think about realistically what would the... What would we expect our opponent to do? Our opponent should be trying to get to this pawn, which is difficult, don't get me wrong. The fact that they opted out of all these exchanges makes things a little bit more difficult um, for, for both of us, really. Um, I think it's an interesting move. I think it's good, actually. So... You know, we're, we're kind of running out of time. If we go here, they take, we take. We, mm, they could they could put a lot of pressure on us. But I don't think it's so bad. I think this is the right move for them. We obviously, we cannot take. That's just like a given. But do we like the move to here? I think we still do. I don't think this pawn's going anywhere. Um, if anything, they'll probably, like if they take, we could check, right? Like they take, check. And we hate it. No, we, we actually don't mind it now that I think about it. Well, maybe we do. Like, take, check. You like the fork, but we're under threat here. You take with the knight maybe afterwards. Alternatively, we could also not do that. <laughs> but this is, where, this is probably where the game is going to be more or less decided, I guess. One, we have to make a decision here. Like, this is the this is the linchpin, right? If they take, um, if we take with a pawn, we kind of open up the ability for their queenside pawns to push further. Not a huge fan. If we take with another piece, like for example here, everything's fine. But we do also have to acknowledge that, um, like, let's say we take with the queen, for example. Um, 
the knight is now solely protected uh, by the queen. So we have to move the knight, right? Um, and, you know, there's not that many safe places for it. This is a pretty vulnerable piece right now. So the other move would be take, check, take. And I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Um, then we would, because so it would look like, yeah. See, this is something that we thought was definitely plausible. Um, we can't, we still can't take. Because <laughs> if we take um, here, they just take here. Oh, but then now that I think about it, hold on. I take, they take, check. It's not good. Um, we're kind of running out of time. I'm going to offer a draw, and we'll see how they feel about that. Like, I don't think we're in a bad spot, but I think, unfortunately, we kind of have to fall back. And I think we have to... Well, I don't know, actually, now that I think... Of, okay, so we got a minute 30. Times are tough. Let me walk it through. I don't really like this, because this just bodies us. Like, it leaves us in the exact same position we started in. Um, and there's no real way to kind of get out of this. I like that we could just... Press the issue on the check. I think we got to stay on the diagonal and maybe give up the open file. But I'm acknowledging we're probably making uh, mistakes now. Like some time-based mistakes, perhaps. So it's weird. Two and a half minutes, still plenty of time for them to to checkmate us. <laughs> if they end up stealing this knight from us, which seems uh, totally plausible, honestly. What we're looking for, I think, is like the opportunity of that rook. If this rook moves, the knight is no longer subject to taking. Well, that's the exception of the rule there. Um, and like, really, so here's what I'm concerned about is the exchange... Followed by the pawn being in a really dangerous spot. Um, so I, I feel like we maybe got very lucky just now. We still... They're, they're trying to box in the night. So maybe we didn't get as lucky as I thought we did. Here's what I kind of like though, okay? What if, what, if we, what if we did a trick? What if we did like take? Or like, sorry, push. They take. <laughs> we fork. Even if they did this, this. This, this, I think we end up. Okay, I don't know. This might be bad, but we don't have a whole lot of time. What we don't do is recapture after this. And the other thing is, maybe they move a, a rook. They're like, oh, crap. Then we just get the check. We're not really safe <laughs> at all. Um, but it, it's, uh, at least we do have a way out. And if I miscalculated something, I apologize. But I also thought this was kind of a fun line. Um, some, something you don't expect to come up with with uh, 30 seconds on the clock, for sure. So this is, again, you want to talk about escalation of danger. So no matter what, let's walk it through. If they do that, we take first. To put them in check. All of a sudden, we're now up material. Kind of amazing. And that's what you get for saying no to my draw, you jerk. I would trade a rook for a bishop and a pawn, probably. But I don't think we need to. Times are tight, by the way. Timing might be a bit of an issue here. Um, because we have like literally no time to think. So what? What's the whole? What's the game plan? I wouldn't say it's simple. Oh, we got so lucky. <laughs> I definitely would not say it's simple. At all. I 
I can't talk. Like, let's just... I mean, they're playing an amazing endgame. I kind of expected them to have, like, a garbage endgame. That is not the case. Interesting. They, honestly, like, extremely great. They they did, we're saved. <laughs> we're gonna lose on time. We we can't win. It's it's basically impossible now. Well done, honestly. Like I'm I'm happy with the way that I played. I'm disappointed, obviously, that we lost and and time got very tight. But I'm I'm very happy with the material advantage we were able to sweep away there. Again, it's not always about winning or losing. It's about like playing better or worse, right? So there's games where you play better, um, but you lose, and then there's games where you play worse but you win. So we were up by like ten points at the end. No, they were up by ten points at the end. What? Really? They really did not think that we were. Like, we were up by, like, two points. I guess they really preferred White's endgame position. Here's the the only thing I really want to go through on the analysis, because, like, the game's, I, I think, pretty standard. Um, through to about... Like, this was interesting. They think it's it's pretty much even. They actually like White's move there. They like our move there. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, they like our position. They love the take. They think that we've eked out a small advantage and then thrown it away. Um, but, it, you know, it was a very tactical game through, like, the, the opening of this. They really did not like this move. They still want to defend against the knight moving here, which is probably very sensible. AC1 is a missed win. Wow, that's crazy. They did not like that move either. But you can see how tight this is, right? Like, okay, so they love our position. They think it's fine. They think it's good. They they still like our position. Then they're like, this is where things went like, whoa, what the? And they're like, eh, decent move. And then I'm like, whoa, what the? And they're like, decent move. And then I take. And I thought we were winning here, but actually the game thinks it's a mathematical draw. Well, if you're going to get a mathematical draw, that's like a, a fun way to do it right there. I would have thought given material, we would have been in a good spot. But honestly, like this move from the bishop like crushed me. It controls the whole open file, and there's no way to get in there to get it out. Maybe, like, that starts to get us out, but I'll admit that was a really strong move. And then, like, so in that case, we, we didn't really deserve to win and lose on time. We just, you know, lost on time. We were checked there. That's why we didn't take the rook. But anyway, um, that was a really good game. I think there's a, there a lot of fun and there was a lot to learn. And, you know, there's a lot of question marks here, but we were playing on no time at all. Um, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was two losses, but two very good games uh, as well with a lot, of, a lot of creative attacks. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. See ya!